Hello everyone, John Frost to a Topspin Tennis. I have Olivia Minical here with me. She's one of uh, one of the students that I work with. And um, we're gonna start a series kind of following her and her road to Division One. That's really the ultimate goal for her. I've been privileged, I've worked with several D1 um, tennis athletes, so it's I've got some experience with that. So I kind of know what it takes to get to that level. I did not play at that level personally. So just wanted to ask her a few questions. If you are a coach and you're out there and you're looking for a recruit, um, somebody with a lot of heart, good energy, loves the game, Olivia uh, could be your potential student athlete. So Olivia, tell me a little bit about your background. You've played, you play several sports. You're not just a tennis player, which I'm a fan of. What other sports do you play? Um, Obviously tennis, basketball, yep. track, and softball. Okay, so four sport athlete. You're gonna be a junior, so you're going into your junior year. Uh, I know you made varsity as a freshman in basketball, correct? Yes, so um, that's really, really cool. And um, you've also, with softball and track, you were a standout. I remember in middle school hearing some of the stories about track and middle and um, your success in middle school as well. But now you're getting to a point where you got to make a decision, right? Like, yeah. so what are you going to really hone it going into your junior year? What are you really looking at, really focusing on your junior year? Um, I think I might have to drop some sports to focus on tennis more and training more. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your training schedule with tennis. What does that look like right now? I train with you once a week, yep. an hour and a half, and then I And go then down. we do the group too on yeah. Wednesdays, yep, yep. And then I'll go down to sports core, yep. train there two to three times a week probably. Yeah. And then yeah. just any other hitting throughout the week. Yeah. What I love about if you're a coach and you're looking for a student athlete, um, what I love about Olivia is that it she loves to play. Like if we, I kind of classify her as a court rat like you don't have to drag her out onto the court she um, she loves to play she loves to grind she loves competition and I think playing multiple sports that's helped you like with basketball and softball like you know how to compete and if I'm a college coach I'm looking for players like that that who um, absolutely love to compete so going into your junior year senior year where do you like where do you see yourself in the college, what do you see at the college level? Eh? Ultimately, what's your ultimate goal? Um, definitely want to play D1 level. I feel like that would be a really cool opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not afraid of that challenge, right? No. She, she's got like a. You have like a 3.95 GPA, right? So not only do you get it done on the court, but you also get it done in the classroom as well. So as a student athlete, which is what you'll be in college, that's a, that's a <laughs> good. Right, so. Recently you had some success at a Midwest Level 3 tournament in Michigan. Tell me a little bit about that and what you learned from the tournament. Um, well, I went in and then I won the first round and then the second round I got taken out by the three seed, which I wasn't too disappointed in, but yeah. I feel like when you get put up against a seed, you realize that you don't have anything to lose. And I feel like sometimes you just go for your shots more than you should. Yeah. But I realized going up against seeds is that they're not like necessarily better than me. They just have more experience at playing at tournaments and yeah. I need that experience. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I know that we were texting, you know, we were talking a little bit and I said like we kind of use the analogy of Rafael Nadal like don't focus on the wins, really focus on the fight. And that's, I think that's why he's had so much success. And maybe that's some of the emphasis you put on that. Like, I'm gonna fight for every ball. Like, you'll run through the fence to make that next shot. And that's the mentality you gotta have, I feel, to really be successful. And you definitely have that mentality. So that's good to see. So more competition, right? In the future, you definitely need to compete. Cause I think after that tournament, you're like, I know I can play with any of these girls. And you can, you took out the 19th seed, you were competitive against the right there which is good so all right we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up right there we're actually gonna run through some drills now um, just kind of show you what she looks like on the court she can hit pretty much every shot the beauty too is you know she understands in college tennis that you got to be able to play singles and doubles and she is phenomenal at doubles I played with I played with Olivia in a few doubles tournaments and oh, <laughs> oh did you see that would have been bad <laughs> 
Oh. Just do some drills, um, and then um, we'll continue the series. We'll, as you progress, right, you're only going to be a junior, so throughout the year we'll continue to do some of these videos and kind of watch watch your progress. So. the inside of that ball. Yep, just want to get above the net. That's it, inside. That's it, take it off the court a little more. There you go, take it off the court. That's beautiful, do it again. So that's the goal, we're really trying to get that ball to go to the outside of the cone, really pull the opponent off the court, do it again. Nice. Nice. Yeah, bravo, good. Hit it. That's it. Try to put a side spin on it. There you go. Perfect. All right, a little di a different variation to the drill. So now, rather than being stagnant in this corner, she's going to hit a inside or down the line forehand and an inside out forehand. So everything's going to that corner, and the goal is really to try to get that ball to go outside that cone. Good, Pete. Good. Really windy here, so she's got to really move those feet. Nice. Yeah. Way to hit it. That's it. Get to the inside of that ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really move those feet. Same drill, but everything's going to go to that corner. Yeah, still see if you can put some side spin on it. That's it, good. Put a little side spin on it. Beautiful. Look how she lets that ball get to the top. She almost lets the ball stop. Almost feels like the ball stops at the top of the bounce. Beautiful, way to hit it. Way to hit it. Yeah, again. Beautiful. Might have to cut this video short. We got like a tropical storm coming in and we're in Wisconsin, but um, so, Chuck Tomlin, John Carpenter have talked about this. Anybody can play from behind the baseline. You know, I think that's the easiest spot to play from. What truly separates the good players from the great is they know how to attack this midcourt ball. So she did phenomenal from there, but now we're gonna have her, I'm gonna be feeding balls from here. Same drill where it's forehand here, forehand here. Let's take everything to that backhand side if they're a righty and really attack. Good. Yeah. Yeah, again, hit it, Let's hit it. Yeah, again, hit it. That's it. These are pocket aces right here. You gotta go for the shot. You gotta go for it. Yes, again. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. She does a great job with that ball. It's a good combination of like a drive spin, right? Where or this power fade. So she's driving the ball and spinning it at the same time. Same thing, Olivia, but now we're taking everything to that corner, okay? So just keep the footwork, keep that footwork. That's it, move, move around that ball. Yeah, that's it. Nice, nice. Nice. Yeah, top of the bounce, top of the bounce. Boom, good, again. Yeah. Yes amazing watch her footwork I mean the feet are constantly moving it's like perpetual motion so that's that's good we want students doing that same drill but now she's taking everything out of the air so we're just gonna do swinging volleys out of the air from here it's a shot we're seeing more and more players execute from this area yeah. that's hard. That's a I know yeah we love it when it's windy it's extra special ready go yes beautiful Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Yes. Woo. That was really good. All right, we're gonna progress all the way back to the baseline. So once again, I want her taking the ball at the top of the bounce. Now I want her to be able to attack here, but I want her to be in the blue. Every time I want her inside the baseline with these in a thinking attack mode and um, really going through that first, second floor. So above that net. So not a lot of net clearance, right? So it's a little less margin here, but be aggressive. And so every ball you're gonna move all four hands in the blue. Inside, go. 
in the blue. Yeah, look at that, again, go. Yes, be aggressive. Yes, be aggressive. This is opportunity. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Beautiful, Liv, beautiful. Same drill, but everything's gonna be going to the forehand side if they're a righty. So forehand cross court, and then inside in forehand down the line. Go flat, a little tighter. Tighten it up a little bit. That's better, that's it. That's awesome. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right, that's a wrap. Those are just a few of the drills, more to come. If you are interested in Olivia, reach out to me, make sure we follow up with you. Thanks.